guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer Battle Replay. So I'm playing as the Empire, and I'm going as the Dwarves. So uh, I decided to do something a little different here. Um, so normally I wouldn't bring so much artillery uh, as the Empire, these are quite vulnerable. But against the Dwarves, they don't really have much in the way of flanking. So I thought I'd bring a load of cheap mortars, um, and let them turtle. I also brought a load of uh, hand gunners, and I've got the silver bullets hidden over here, so they can move around, they won't get seen because they got stalk. Got Empire General on a horse, not a horse. Big flying horse. Got him on a uh, on a griffin. Yeah. Anyway, um, and I've got a line of great swords. So basically, what I'm thinking is uh, dwarves at the moment. Um, everyone brings ranges of great weapons. So I thought I'd just outrange them with some armor piercing. So I uh, got my handgunners and everything. Um, as soon as I get my great swords in there, you know they won't really be able to shoot at anything. So um, yeah. Thought it worked quite well. So I've got uh, my three. Um, oh, I also brought a life with a uh, uh, jade wizard, order of life, uh, to keep my front line healthy. So uh, yeah. So anyway, straight away I get my uh, my mortars to fire on. Uh, well, their front line. So they got uh, here grumbling guard, and then some long beards, great weapons. So uh, pretty good pick against great swords. They'd hold up fairly well. Uh, they've also got a couple of units of slayers. Uh, you know, watching for cavalry, I suppose. And then they like a. Uh, like I suspected, they've got Ulthar's Raiders and range of great weapons. And uh, he's also got a... Uh, he's got Thorgrim uh, to buff his front line, and uh, a Runesmith to drop down some runes. He's also got a few Dwarf Warriors dotted about. So, uh, yeah, let's speed this up. So, um, so he's got this great cannon as well. Uh, not great cannon, just a cannon. Um, so he goes straight for my artillery, because he cannot have my three mortars shooting up at him, like, you know, for all this time. But, um, frankly, because I've got three, and they're only like 750 each, and, you know, I've got so much range to be able to pepper him with. Um, I kind of figure, yeah, I'll just go for his front line. Weaken that, once I get my great swords in, that cannon's not really going to be able to do much. So that was the plan. So uh, I've got my general just hovering over here, which just looks so cool. Look at that. And yeah, big chaos thing in there. Mm, not good. Not a good sign. Uh, so anyway, see, mortars start hitting. Does some pretty good HP damage. So yeah, it's starting to take a few casualties as well, so that's nice. But uh, mainly it does a lot of HP damage. So once my great swords get in there, they can just start cleaving through them. So uh, you can see, though, a lot of damage to my artillery. So um, at one point, uh, this one was under attack. So I actually told him to leave his mortars and run off. I was hoping he'd keep firing at them and uh, give these some peace. But he was clever. He switched straight away. So I had to move back on. So that actually gave him a bit of an advantage there for a while. But it was worth a try, I feel. So uh, pretty sure... Nope, didn't take out a mortar. Thank God. Took out one of them, though. But uh, yeah, so I keep firing. So he's trying to uh, use the uh, damage negation there, um, try and keep them alive, which, you know, it's a good shout. Take a while for my front line to get there, so uh, he should get the rune back before I get to him. So uh, yeah, got my silver bullets lying in wait, which is always very nice. But you can see, like, uh, Grumbling Guard, they're taking a lot of HP damage. And if I can kill them nice and early on, then uh, these guys aren't going to get the uh, buff to their vigor that the Grumbling Guard provides. So rune negation again. So, uh, pretty good. So, 22% less damage from the mortar fire. So, well worth it. Cannon's still firing at me. And so, you're taking quite a bit of damage, but, you know, still got three units firing at them. So, it's a lot of lot of fire for them to deal with. And, yeah, I don't really mind him destroying the mortars, quite honestly. Um, he's keeping his cannon busy. That cannon could have done a lot of damage to my front line. But, he didn't. So, that's good news. So, yeah, pretty huge damage on these guys. A lot of HP. So, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed it up a bit. And uh, so, you can see, front line coming in. So yeah, huge damage to these guys. So get some shots on them with my uh, with my hand gunners. Soon though, I'm going to get my great swords in front of them, they'll be obstructed. But, um, you know, got a couple of volleys in. Nice and early. The whole front line is really injured right now. So yeah, not going to be a problem. So here, I'm flying with my General of the Empire. I hadn't seen their rangers yet, but I figured they were there. So my plan was actually just to uh, keep them busy. You can see, looks like he's going straight for my general here. So yeah, mortar's still coming in. So yeah, they haven't lost a huge amount of models. I mean, they've lost 10 models, but look at that. They've taken more than half their HP damage. So these these great swords can be able to cleave through without, without any problems. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, so he's dropped down some runes. But I've got earth blood going, so my uh, great sword's getting some health in nice and early. And look at that, they've taken what? Another, another 10 models straight away. So that's nice. My god, these long beards. They're, they're absolutely screwed. So uh, here, though, he made a bit of a mistake. Uh, he's left Thorgrim out in the open. So uh, I take advantage of that and start firing at him. So uh, I've got my general just flying around. They're just trying to chase me. 
So yeah, about to break through. This is when I bring up my silver bullets. So yeah, it's going pretty well so far. So I want to get my uh, my handgun is nice and spaced out at this point. The great swords have taken a bit of a beating. Um, I think that's down to runes mainly. But uh, you can see, starting to take some damage at the front line. So it was nice I softened them up before I got there. Otherwise, that would have been much more difficult to engage. You can hit, see here though the amount of damage Thorgrim's taking from these handgunners. It's not good for him. Pretty sure there's another earth blood coming down. Yeah, so there we go. So yeah, it's still fairly high model count. So uh, so pretty pretty useful. So uh, I come in with my general, take out Thorgrim because I want him out of there, and I don't want him on my handgunners because I want my handgunners nice and healthy. So uh, my great swords managed to get around the back. I've got my silver bullet shooting to the side of these guys. Those dwarf warriors are routed almost immediately. So uh, they bring in their rangers. I'm not quite sure what they were trying to do there. By the looks of it, they were trying to put them narrow so they could get through this gap. Which, uh, yeah, it's quite crafty, to be honest. So mortars still hitting them, which is pretty cool. At this point, though, they're all uh, clumped together. So uh, I just throw my general at them. And they're taking fire from the handgunners. You can see the health is going down very quickly and the morale. So uh, they've still got a runesmith in here, though, taking a lot of damage here. My, uh, my great sword is taking a lot of damage. But, you know, a lot of it's pretty... Uh, Pretty close to being wrapped up. So, uh, it's a pretty textbook there. <laughs> Still got my mortars firing. So they're all taking massive uh, leadership damage for being attacked by artillery. Yeah, people don't like being attacked by artillery. I've noticed that. Um, yeah, they're not fans. Um, yeah, one of my guys did get routed though. I've left their cannon to keep firing. He's firing my artillery. It's not that important. So, uh, yeah, I've just sort of let him be. Because, yeah, he could have been shooting my front line. You know, but... Didn't really go to plan. So uh, you can see he's still got a load of slayers running around, but yeah, he, he calls that a day. So you can see he's lost he's lost all of his units apart from his slayers at this point. But yeah, so I thought that was a pretty good one. Um, quite enjoyed that. Uh, I just thought it was quite interesting. Uh, the fact that you can just sort of, uh, you can just hold a dwarf at arm's length and deal with them quite easily. Um, so I think that's, this is a good example of it. So uh, I thought I'd show you guys. So right, let's see a breakdown of the, uh, of the kills here. So um, I mean that cannon, 62 kills, all against my... Uh, against my mortars, but I still had two firing at the end there, so not a lot of kills, but they did a lot of HP damage. I mean, you saw the grumbling guard, how injured they were when we started the engage. I mean, look, only 29 kills. Not great for uh, such a good unit as the uh, grumbling guard. Slayers did alright, and Slayers definitely shouldn't have gone in the front line, though. Um, I think that was a big mistake. He could have cleaned up all of my handgunners um, if, he'd, if he'd moved his uh, Slayers around to deal with them. And then, yeah, I probably wouldn't have killed Thorgrim half as easily, and yeah, it would have been a lot more difficult for me. So, uh, but yeah, I thought it was a pretty good match, though. So, uh, yeah, life was obviously no kills, but healed everyone up. Uh, General actually killed a fair few. I mean, that was just when he dived in those rangers. He was barely fighting for long. But yeah, he did some good work. You know, handgunners, fair few kills across the board. But yeah, it was mainly my front line managed to cash in on all the kills that the uh, mortar set him up for. So that was good fun. So anyway, um, good uh, good match, Todd Bringer B. Um, not Todd Bringer A. Oh, well. Todd Bringer B. Uh, good match. Enjoyed that. I hope you see you again later soon. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.